Oh, yeah. What's up, Road Dog P1 production expert and or sweet supernatural freak. <laughs> I am Roy Golden, Dorado myself, coming straight at you from around the side. Previously recorded now on YouTube Live. Go Google, like me. Hey. <coughs> Listen, tonight I've got an audio treat so sweet, your cochleas will swallow it all. Because everybody gets one, and this is my one. I'm, I am going to take you for a ride inside my tiny mind as I describe my typical day. A typical day in the life of Dorado. How does that sound? Fantastic? Thought so. This is a bedroom boy's best. My... Come on, me, Digo. Come on, me, Digo. How do you, I say? <laughs> How do you, I say? This is a bedroom boy's best. Day 19. Follow me now. Daylight, day 19. Daylight 19. Mm. Day... 19 of 40 days in a row live broadcasts as I share with you each step of my quest to fulfill a more than 20 year journey to produce an album of all original music that goes straight from here I'm pointing to my heart to your ears I'm pointing to your ears emotionally naked Mmm, mmm, sincere songwriting, mmm, 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 that classy country music we all know and love, we grew up on, that we never left. <sighs> I'm a country music singer-songwriter, singer plus songwriter that wants to share each step of my journey to finally deliver to you a bedroom boy's best. Not just any bedroom boy's best. This bedroom boy's best. It's been long. It's been hard. It's been a challenge. But you know what? I got that road dog spirit inside of me. You know what that road dog spirit is? Relentless determination to achieve a worthy goal. R-D-A-W-G. <laughs> it is. Don't it is. Oh, relentless determination to achieve a worthy goal. What is that worthy goal? To share an intimate emotional connection with you through the magic of music. Music is magical. Music is sexy. Music is my favorite form of artistic expression to communicate heartfelt emotion. Mm. Mm. Give me a groove to get me in the mood mm, with them vibrations libating. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Love music. Love music. Music moves me. It does. It does. Thank you for joining me tonight. Got a lot of big changes up ahead. Starting a day. Double deuce. Watch out, 22. Watch out, 22. That's a Mehmet Smith action, Paul, y'all. Watch out, Dallas Cowboys. I am broadcasting live adjacent to the anal canals of Valley Ranch Spare. That is in Irving, Texas, USA, a suburb of Dallas, Texas, USA. Sands Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys training facility was... 
walking distance from where I am, and now they moved out to this beautiful, beautiful, fantastical practice facility in Frisco. <laughs> so Valley Ranch's claim to fame is, uh, well, I'm here. <laughs> oh, that's all it is now. It's spare. It's spare at the Ponzi spare like me. Oh, I love Valley Ranch. 20 minutes from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Need to get to downtown Dallas? Yeah. 20 minutes without traffic. Need to get to downtown Fort Worth? A little more than 20 minutes, maybe. Maybe it's about 39 minutes. Need to go see the Texas Rangers play? That's about 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Need to get to DFW Airport? Less than 11 minutes. <laughs> Oh, I've been late for many a flight, y'all. If I wasn't living here, I would have missed a lot of them. But hey, you know me. Never early. I always get there right <laughs> at the last second. But always. Always. I get on that train. Mm hmm I don't miss that train, no. <sighs> Tonight. It's my typical day. Everybody gets one. This is my one. This is my one. What's a typical day for me? Depends. How's about my typical ideal day? You want to hear that? I mean, to get real emotionally naked with you tonight. Mm. I do. This is what I love about this format so much. I'll expand on this thought over the next few weeks. Everybody know Stephanie? Sweet Stephanie, you know. You may know her as Lady Gaga. Mm-hmm. Sweet Stephanie. Well, in my previous life, schedule was kind of crazy. I used to, I, I would travel for a living all over this world, all over, particularly the United States, but some shows in Canada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had some shows in Mexico. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Germany. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Australia. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to get to that Gold Coast. What's up, Melbourne? What's up, Sydney? I love me some, I love me some Australia. Love me some London, too. Can't wait to go to London. Cape Town, South Africa. Mm, sweet Cape Town. Some videos to shoot in Cape Town. Got to go back to my, back to my roots in Massavia, hold on. Massavia, Spain. Oh, yeah. Sevilla, Espana. Oh. Sevilla, Espana. And, of course, my friends. My friends. Down in Cancun. My plier, old dog. Take it easy, plier. Use little mujeres. <laughs> Watch out. I travel all over. Travel all over. And I had just finished a show on a Sunday. So it was a it was a half day. We had to load out. We got loaded out. Let's see. The sessions ended uh, around about... One o'clock, we loaded out. It was, uh, we're done approximately 5.30. It was good. Nice, clean show. Great event. Everybody happy. Client happy. It's a good one. 
and I'm pretty sure it was during football season. I'm positive, actually. Sweet Stephanie was being interviewed by Anderson Cooper. Here, let's, hey, how about this? Hold on, hold one, hold one. Oh, I love this, I love this. Anderson Cooper, 60, yeah, there you go. Uh-huh, what we got? Lady Gaga, Anderson Cooper, 60 Minutes. Videos, Lady Gaga and the Art of Fame. The Art of Fame. For whatever reason, this says February 13th. I, I don't think that's correct. Maybe. I don't know. I swear it was during football season. That's okay. It could have been then. Whatever reason, I was available. I know that I just finished a show and I was in a I was in a hotel. And I walked back in and this interview was on. This interview changed my whole perspective of love and life and truth and everything. You know why? Because oh sweet stuff. had done a, uh, an in-depth study. Yeah, my typical day. It really is my typical day. Has, she did a, a, a study, and one thing, a lot of things stood out to me. I just, I got what she was saying. I just got it. I got it. I understood where she was coming from. She was surrounded by, it wasn't even controversy. It was just this big question mark. I was like, who is this? Oh my gosh, why is she resonating with so many people and stuff? But one of the things she said in the interview, please please uh, watch that. If you haven't seen it before, it's, it's exquisite. She studied this thing called fame. And right out of the chute, she said, the biggest mistake celebrities make is they lie. They lie. They, these are my words now. In other words, they're, they give in to this perception deception branding mentality oh that's really good with your brand oh my god what is your brand these days it's going really well I have so many followers and stuff that's wonderful if that matches up who you are personally why do you think so many people celebrities One's in, uh, let's say one's in the public eye, especially now. Things have changed a lot from the 40s and 50s and 60s. Mayhaps you were able to get away with some of that. To keep your private life and your public life separate. These days, forget it. Forget it. Not going to happen. That's a tough thing to come to terms with. But if you can grasp that concept, just be who you are. <laughs> like me from the get-go all this how other people perceive you and all this thing about the quote the the building your brand and bah, 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 you can still have corporate appeal corporate commercial appeal widespread appeal And at the same time, consumer trust. So long as 
you follow Lady Gaga's advice. Or rather, avoid the mistakes that she outlines in that interview with Anderson Cooper. That's me, man. That's that's it's a bedroom boy. Bedroom boy's best. I'm just a pokey ponce. Love to play Pokemon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's my that's my sure KSM twenty seven. That's the microphone that wasn't quite good enough to impress a girl, <laughs> but it still sounds great for a bedroom boy. I'll pick that microphone for this photo. And if you notice really closely on the uh, on the shock mount here, I've got these are hair rubber bands because the original elastic had snapped off. So I I borrowed some hair rubber bands from my mom when I was on location one time to <laughs> fix the shock mount, and you know what? It worked. Some secondhand shirts from the nineteen seventies. They don't. That's the real deal, y'all. That's some vintage stuff. A little fedora right there, that short brim fedora. Mm. Yeah. Mad Logo World Dog saw me. Bedroom Boy's best. Made a nice little clipping path. Put some put some outer glow on it. Spread that stuff out. Yeah. It's me. Faults and all. I knew if I was going to embark on this journey, I had to be myself. My my persona, my natural persona, regardless of what others think it is, I, I we all have our own. What's the word? We've already used perception. It's not really perception. We've all got our own. We've all got some ideas. We've all got this picture in our in our heads. We see what we see, and we we form our opinions based on the experiences we have. A lot of times, we see what we want to see, don't we? At least I do. I don't speak for you, but I do speak for me. A lot of times, if I want to see something, if I want to see the good, then I can see the good, and if I want to see the negative then i'll see the negative it's my it's my choice however i want to see it a big turning point in my life and and a a huge positive was whenever i figured out stop seeing what i want to see And search for the truth. What is the truth? What are the facts? What do we know? That's some great advice my mom gave me one time. Well, Sonny, just... What... Let's go with what you know. What do we know? Exactly. What do we know? What are the facts? What are the facts? As it pertains to fame, what are the facts? We're humans. I think of... Of public eye celebrities who are very young. Who start very young in show business. And they have this image... This brand. And then as they come of age, they either metamorphosize into a different type of perception or they they change the brand to fit more of who they actually are. Or it just doesn't work. It just goes dreadfully wrong. Or they're out of showbiz. Or a superstar's reputation gets tarnished. 
with one ill-fated, recorded, drunken rage machine gun fire-off verbiage. That essentially tarnishes a uh, a multi-decades career of exceptional work. Sad. That's where we are today, sports music entertainment. It's different now. I stayed off of social media. When social media was the thing. If you Googled me as of, go Google like me. If you Googled me as of just even a few months ago, really nothing would pull up. The only thing that would pull up is my podcast picture from an interview I did with Pro Tools expert James Ivey in uh, July 2015. I started this whole project. And there's a baseball player that has my name. That was it. Of course, now. Spreading out. Putting them finishing touches on the rawgolden.com website. Uh, 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 uh. It's going to be nice. Doing a bedroom boy's best. Sharing with you Omniville Unleashed every step of the process. Yeah, why did it take me? Why did it take me so long? It took me the longest to come to terms with the fact that there would be no more private life. After I made this leap, took this step rather, I value privacy, intimacy. It took me a long time to figure out a way to make the public the public the publicized content match up With the person. With the personality. With the true personality. Does that make sense? It was not a decision that I made lightly. And it's not a... It's, n it's just not, it's not a decision I made lightly. It affects everybody around me. It affects my family. It affects my friends, it affects my former and current co-workers, it affects my former classmates, anybody that I've anybody that I've ever come into contact with who's had an association with me or who has dealt with me in some form or fashion. Past, present, and future. How in the world can you make all these things jive in today's climate of content? This started it for me. The answer was that, that I arrived at started right here. By watching this, I, I just, I understood what, what it was she was about. She, she researched it. She studied it. She, and more importantly, the most important thing, she applied what she learned. 
Did you see the Super Bowl halftime show this year, 2017? If you missed it, go back and take a look at that. She is who she is. Did you see the interview that she did with Tony Bennett? Hold up. There you go. There you go. Go Google like me. 60 Minutes Australia. Okay, this is the September 21st. This was the September one I was thinking about. Cheek to Cheek album. That's 2014. Watch this one. Watch both of those. 60 Minutes Australia, in case you missed it. Looks like CBS Sunday morning. Yeah. Who? <laughs> yeah. It was a great album, by the way. This was, a, and this is a phenomenal interview. Very well done piece. Kudos. Sixty minutes on both pieces. Anderson Cooper. You know what? I I remember Anderson Cooper. Here's the deal with Anderson Cooper. He did a segment called "Where's Coop" on Channel One when I was in middle school called where's coop first time i saw him he was doing a uh a, he was doing a spot it, and he was in hawaii he got super uber mega famous kudos his big break if you want to call it that or I assume his big break because he was on Channel One, closed circuit TV, satellite feed, morning news broadcast, five minutes, Kathy Cronenberger throwing it to Anderson Cooper. Lisa Ling was all oh, sweet, Lisa Ling. Mm. Kathy Cronenberger. Mm. Mm. And sweet Anderson Cooper. Oh, yeah. But Anderson Cooper had it. He just, he had it. You could tell he had it. Where's Coop? He went into a war zone. Where was it? Kosovo? Sarajevo? Where was it? He was getting shelled in a bunker, and I remember they were uh, they were under attack. He was he was in a war zone, and he broadcast he was broadcasting from shells going off over his head, embedded. After that, I never saw him on Channel One again. Next thing I know, he's uh, he's on network. Amazing story, amazing talent, Anderson Cooper. Long time ago. Yep, he was doing that, and I was uh, I was studying Shakespearean sonnets in seventh grade. <laughs> Anderson Cooper is getting shelled. And then he does his interview with Lady Gaga. Sweet Stephanie. My typical day. That was an atypical day. I finished work early. And for whatever reason, the TV in my hotel room was on CBS and I happened to turn it on. I never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever watch 60 Minutes unless the TV is on and a football game goes 
goes off on a Sunday, and then it rolls over into 60 minutes. But on that day, for whatever reason, I was watching. And I got it. So the burning question question in my mind was how to mesh this day and age, being in the public eye, and just being who you are, just being who I am. How could I, how could I match those up so that I was naturally doing Entertainment. The answer was the the form of art, right? The art of fame. The form of art I prefer to work in and that I can move around freely within the confines of, within the boundaries of music, songwriting. That's the only place in this world that it is acceptable for me to be emotionally naked. I can be me and at the same time do my job. The two are intertwined. The two are lined up. They're not even complementary. They're the same thing. It's efficient. It's appealing to me. It's easy for it. It's when I say easy, it's it's not easy. It's impossibly difficult. What it is, is it it flows freely. I'm not thinking of every single word that I say or every outward expression that I do. I can just be me and that's enough within the boundaries of musical art, art in the form of music. And the corollary, big words, oh yeah. The offshoot of that is I can explain the music and, and why it is that I'm feeling as, as, I, as I feel. Why did I write this song that way? Why did I choose this arrangement? Why did I pick these musicians? Why did I compose this melody? What about this chord progression here? With this lyric. What does this lyric actually mean? What is this symbolic of? What were you feeling at the time? I can answer all those questions. Talk freely about it. But as soon as I walk outside the boundaries of expression in the form of musical art, into the real world and attempt to have this conversation, I I can assure you, attempted, attempted, years and years and years, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So it doesn't work for me. People, this... I keep talking about this. Share an intimate emotional connection with you through the magic of music. That level of intimate connection I have a huge desire in my heart to to hold that, to have that with you. It's present in the music. Particularly live. That's why I'm I'm doing all this is to have product so I can solicit a band and get a band together and train my voice 
so that I can go out and use my voice at its fullest maximum capacity, which, as you've probably figured out by now, I can cover a wide range of notes. Still still working on it. and Working on that range. We're going to be working on the range here the next couple of weeks. Just because I can sing notes in a lot of different octaves doesn't mean I can effectively put them together in context of a song to communicate an idea or a message. Especially if I'm singing out of time, <laughs> as we found out. But, does that mean I'm just going to quit? Does that mean I should throw in the towel and get a real dime? No. You know why? Because I got that road dog spirit, baby. That relentless determination to achieve a worthy goal. And that worthy goal is to share an intimate emotional connection with you through the magic of music. You with me? <clears throat> this is my typical day. Contemplation observation my natural rhythm body rhythm mm. I love to wake up early I love to wake up real early 5:21 a.m. that's my ideal time to wake up eastern gmt minus 5 mm mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. Love waking up early. Next to you. Next to you. My soulmate. All my help meet. My twin soul flame. Mm. Come to me, baby. Come to me. Doing this. Sending out that message, I am, oh, I'm calling out to you. My voice is calling out to you daily. Hear me. Come to me. Mm. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Wake up at 5.21 a.m. Mm. Every day's your birthday, baby. Mm, if you know what I mean, wake you up in that special way. Uh, every day. Uh, yeah. That's my typical day. It's my typical day. Uh, uh, let's get it started the right way. Mm, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Oh, yeah. I like to wake up. Have some sexy times. And then urinate, wash my hands, go in the kitchen, start cooking some eggs. I use light tasting olive oil, which has zero sodium, it's a little bit of fats and some calories. Two eggs. Sunny side up. Sunny up. Mm. Mm. Dang near raw. I do love chilled eggs. Raw. And just drink them from a glass is good. I love it. I really do. Except one time I got kind of sick. I don't know if it was from the eggs. But what I do know is it was very uncomfortable. And so I stopped doing the raw eggs. <laughs> I'm drinking my eggs raw. Actually, what I think happened is there was a, uh, one of the eggs was had had a slight crack on it. I didn't check it very much. I, I kind of noticed it. I'm like, ah, nah, no big deal. No big deal. And then I regretted that. <laughs> bad decision, though, coach. <laughs> it was a real bad decision. Almost 
stomach hurts. Yeah, it was one of those. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it was a bad egg. <laughs> like Maveruka Sorrow, though. Mag she was a bad egg. Yeah, I had a... <laughs> mm, I had a bad egg. Yeah, two eggs, Sonny. So, I, so now I... I do cook them a little bit, but um, I don't scramble them, typically. Two eggs. Take some supplements. I take a uh, supplement from the vitamin shop called Elite. Um, Mega Man Elite. Hold on, let's look it up. Body Tech. Man Elite. Ultimate Man Elite. That's it. Ultimate Man Elite. Here we go. Go, 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 like me. Ultimate Man Elite. That's what I take right here. Vitamin Shop. Ultimate Man Elite. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in this. I'll show you why I like it. I like this. This is nice. Number one, it's cost effective. You can you only have to take one. Oh, look at that! Three in store at Las Colinas. Yeah, it is. Two tablets. Take two tablets and call me in the morning. What man? You only know two tablets. I guess. Here we go. Here's why I like it. Look at this. It's got. Boop, 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 boop. It's got all kinds of good B vitamins. Why is it saying 1%? I don't, I don't think that's correct. That's what it's got in it. I swear it had more zinc than that. Whatever. Got some calcium. Yeah. Magnesium. Where's that potassium? It's got some potassium. Mm-hmm. Amino acid blend. Yeah. As far as uh, yeah, that's right. I do take I take two a day. I take one in the one in the morning, one in the afternoon. As far as uh, multivitamins go, I I like this one. I like the uh, I like the fact that it doesn't have an overabundance of any one thing. You know what I mean? By the way, this is just what I do. I'm not advocating you do anything. I'm just showing you what is this? What is this today? My typical day. Make some eggs and I take my ultimate man elite. And then it's my vitamin D3 roll dog. 5,000. Here's the one I get right there. My veggie capsule, though. This one from Vitamin Shop. I do that one. My body has... It, it does not produce vitamin D at a very good rate. I need supplementation of vitamin D... And I also need natural vitamin D. What can spur natural vitamin D production is, is sunshine. I've got the skin for it. I know everybody's all freaked out about skin cancer and all that good stuff. Got to watch it. Got to pay attention to those things. I understand that. But also, I feel better when I've got just a nice little warm sunshine on my body. It's good for me. It's good for me. 
I found that uh, supplementing with the Ultimate Man Elite and about 10,000 IUs, I'll take two of those a day with the with food and with the Ultimate Man Elite. It was good. My, my body was in normal levels there. It was naturally low. I started supplementing with this, and it went up. And it was in good ranges. Uh, my uh, annual physical checkup. Great doctor. Great doctor over here. Mm-hmm. I gotta keep tabs on all them things, baby. I'm not. I ain't no spring chicken no more. Mm mm. I'm still cougar bait, but hey, hey, wanna wanna be all healthy for you, baby. I wanna be my bedroom. <laughs> Remember that? I'm a bedroom boy's best now. Sign up big and save. Mm. -hmm. So bedroom boy's best. I gotta be. I gotta be at my best for you. Physically, physical, physical, physical fitness. You know how I always say that little weird catchphrase at the end? Make the music you want to hear. Be the change you need to see. It's a, it's a Gandhi thing back in the day. Be the change you want to see in the world. I say be the change you need to see as it applies to you personally. Specifically... For me, it applies to physical fitness. Be the change I need to see physically, literally physically, the change I want to see in the mirror. It's not simple, but it is a straightforward process. If I want to be physically fit, then I do the things that a physically fit person that I would need to be would do. Huh? Be the change. Be that person who is physically fit. I say this all the time, too. Here, here's the deal. You know what the deal is with change? If you're going through something, man, I've been there. I've been, this, is the, this is the not lying part. Man, I've struggled with everything you, you could possibly struggle with. You probably haven't even struggled with the things I have. Mm -hmm. I'm very habitual. I've got a strong will to do whatever the F I want to do. More than that, I'm, I'm a very habitual creature. That means I can start good habits... And do those good habits every day. Physically, mentally. At the same time, I can start bad habits. And do those horrible habits every single day. Every single day. And at the same time, if I find myself in those bad habits, you know what? <laughs> Just as easily, I can start good habits again. That's the truth. This is what I say. Change is always possible. You just have to want something else more. It's a matter of priorities. It's that straightforward. It's, it may, it's not easy, but it is a straightforward process. If that's what you want, you can do it. You can be that change you need to see. Like me. <laughs> like me. Not only am I saying that, I'm demonstrating it before your very eyes for all the world to see. I'm going to show you my pudgy panty days, baby, which weren't very long ago, but it, it's not the end of the story. I made up my mind, hey, I got to get in shape. If I'm going to go in on tour, I'm going to need to look great. I'm going to need to feel great. I'm going to need to be in the best damn shape of my life if I'm going to 
tour the world for two years because I know what it's like to be on the road, to live on the road, to, to fail physically on the road, and what it takes to succeed on the road. Nothing short of my absolute best with no foul-ups or fall-offs. It takes me at my best working my butt off every day to stay in shape and making sure that I stay in a sustainable routine that features quality sleep first and foremost. My typical day. There is one other supplement it's beyond supplements it's beyond supplements You could take away my Ultimate Man Elite. You could take away my Thermogenic. You can take away my Vitamin Ds. But don't you dare take away my Geno Stem Pro. Fast acting and effective formula with 18 amino acids and 21 naturally occurring growth factors that help support strength, lean muscle mass, increased energy and stamina, reduces muscle breakdown during prolonged sports activity, will give you a faster recovery time. Testosterone support. What this does is it gets, gets my body operating at peak efficiency. Unlike any other supplement. It's no, it's no placebo for me. I'm not being compensated in any way, shape, or form by Anderson Cooper or, or the Vitamin Shop or Geno Stem. This is just... As I said, my typical day. The Geno Stem Pro. First thing that I notice is ever play Legend of Zelda? Anybody Zelda freaks out there like me? Remember floating around in Lake Hyrule without the iron boots and you just kind of swim underneath and kind of dive down three, two, one, and then you'd have to resurface again. When you had those iron boots, you just, your feet just went boom, straight down and you could boom, 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 walk down on the bottom, bottom, you just walk down on the bottom of the lake searching for treasure all day. Mad Iron Boots Roll Dog. That's what Geno Stem Pro feels like. It feels like without it, I'm just, just kind of floating through water. Or I'm I'm Apollo 13 in this stuff. I'm just floating around doing cartwheels in a space capsule with Tom Hanks. You know? You know? I 
and then I'm taking GenoStem Pro. Bedroom Boy's Best. To help me be at a Bedroom Boy's Best. And the next thing I know, I'm wearing iron boots. It, it's, it's gravity boots. Mad boots, real dog, is mad boots. It regulates my sleep cycle immediate, within five days of taking it. My sleep cycle is regulated. I get quality sleep in a way that I do not get without it. Number one. That is, for me, that's the key to everything else is adequate recovery. My vocal cords need time to heal. My body needs time. I put it through a lot of stress every day. I work out. I walk miles and miles and miles every day. Cracking Pokemon eggs. Burning calories as much as possible. Getting some sunshine. Getting outside of this bedroom boy studio. Road Dog Federation studio here at the Anal Canals of Valley Ranch Spare version. Get outside and enjoy this wonderful Texas springtime weather. It's great weather all year here. It really is. I'm not going to lie. Except in an El Nino year. And it sucks. I don't lose weight like I do. When I take Geno Stem Pro, I don't lose weight on my own, even working out. Remember how I said I like to wake up in my typical day and give you that sweet loving, baby? That's what I look forward to. Yeah. Remember those times you used to wake up with the morning wood? Mm. Remember them days? Used to be our day, didn't it? Yeah, well, 37. <laughs> it's not quite every day anymore for me. Truth, truth. Lady Gaga always said, don't lie. <laughs> I'm not lying. Hey, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm taking Geno Stem Pro for an, for an extended period of time, know how I know it's working <laughs> well hello there perky hmm good morning to you too <laughs> mad libido man mad libido is back muscle growth sleep cycle regulation free testosterone recovery skin my skin looks better my eyebrows and facial hair get get thicker i noticed that uh, i keep my fingernails really really trimmed play guitar it it bothers me whenever it i, I line them up to the quick to that line that where the pink meets the white you know what i'm talking about that line right there that's where i trim them back to anything more than about a millimeter and a half outside of that and i start to get bothered by it whenever i'm playing guitar Take a Geno Stem Pro. My fingernails, grow, instead of cut, clipping them once a week, I'm, I, I need to clip them once every two and a half to three days. I got to get my eyebrows waxed every week and a half as opposed to every month. It, it helps my body do its job better. Does that make sense? For me, this is not this is not a supplement. It's a necessity if I want to give you a bedroom boy's best. If I want, and, and my voice, my voice is it. It helps my voice recover. My vocal cords are very, very sensitive. I can wreck them in an instant and they'll be wrecked for six weeks. Sometimes I've wrecked them one time and it was 10 weeks before they were back to 
even 90%. Working on it. Got to work on that range. Got to work on my form. Practice, practice, practice. This has been great for me being able to just speak to you for a couple of hours every day for 19 straight days now and still have my voice still be nice and strong. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, now I'm going to start singing and retracking some of these vocals over the next three weeks. Staying well hydrated, staying well rested, nutrition, physical activity. As I said, it's not, it's not easy, but it is a very straightforward process. And at least for me, a process that I can make habitual that's part of my typical day good physical fitness and consistency in physical activity is part of my typical day the way i avoid the pitfalls of forming bad habits let's say i want to go out and get plaster blasted I don't do it two days in a row. Let's say I don't go and work out one day. I make sure I go and work out the next day. Even if it's just one set of one rep, the act of my, where where I am, where I live, it, it's walkable to go to a gym. I go to 24-hour fitness. It's great. It's got everything I need. I like I like the uh, I like the gym. It's got a basketball court. Going. Finally figured out how to shoot a basketball. By the way. Fine, that, properly. I played sports all growing up, but in the last six months, I'm like oh. I have strength in my triceps and wrist now that I can actually use my wrist to shoot. And now I've got way more control and touch. Now I'm not using so much of these other miscellaneous body parts. It's elevate and extend. Boom. Oh, snaps. Get some cardio. Dribble up and down the court. That's way more fun than running windy sprints. Well, the mad windy sprints. Trying to burn that incense and catch more Pokemon by going faster. I push the ball up and down the court. And the next thing you know, it's five minutes later and I need a little quick timeout. Hey, you know, woo. Yeah, I'm feeling it. That's fun to me. That's fun physical activity. Finding something I like. Finding something I can relate to. Staying young. Or how about this? Anti-aging. Anti that's, that's what I like. It's a Geno Stem Pro thing. Anti-aging. Absolutely. Supplementation is one thing. Going beyond supplements with Genostim Pro, that's another thing too. But diet and exercise as part of the daily routine. I get the mags going. I put on my workout gear, fill up my water bottle. And go get my first catch of the day and spin that Pokestop wheel. Let's see what I'm going to get. Yeah, there you go. Day five of a seven-day streak. Let's go. 
crack a couple of eggs. Go get some mad gains, real dog. Go get some mad gains in the gym. It's gains day. Hey, what day is it? It's gains day. It's gains day today. Today's gains day. Mm. My typical day, making all kinds of gains. And I, you know, I come back home. If I'm in a uh, cutting mode, which I am right now, so I've, I've been in a gains mode, trying to trying to gain some muscle. Um, I've got relatively long arms. I've got a long arm span, which means my arms are not that compact. Which means that any muscle tissue I've got is spread out over a larger area. And I have never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever, never, ever had any sort of peak on biceps. I've got, a, I've got just a little lovely lady now, baby. It's a little lovely lady bump on my biceps bump. Yeah, so I worked I worked that short head underneath. Now I'm working on that long head. So I've got got some little peak action going. Just continue to solidify and work on that long head. It's gonna give it just a little bit. Just a little bit of something, something when I wear them short sleeve shirts. But for my stage attire. I've been working on I've got nice broad shoulders and and a nice chest or really pathetic abs and waist. I've got nice uh, quads. Had to work on my hamstrings. Doing re doing a reverse routine has been, or, or doing some uh, a pull routine rather. All my life I've done push routine. Over the last year and a half, I focused on pull routine. Doing some rows. Yeah, working that backside, doing some hamstring curls. Yeah, working that backside. It gave me a much more balanced look overall. Instead of just looking at myself from the front side, I had to turn that mirror around, baby. I had to get myself from the backside. Hmm, how you doing? Like, oh, I need to be working on this. Work out my triceps primarily to get some bulk to my to my arms, my upper arms, meeting my shoulders. And I work shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders to widen those shoulders. Put on just enough. It took me three years to put on what's going to amount to about eight and a half pounds of muscle. Six and a half pounds of that I did on pro hormones. <laughs> Three years for two pounds of muscle and a dirty bulk cycle. Just saying. I'm not advocating. I'm not giving you advice. I'm just telling you what my typical day is. I'm not going to lie to you. not I'm not a bodybuilder but what I did try to do is is put on just a, a little bit a little bit of shape more body sculpting if that makes any sense so that whenever I lean back out which I'm in the process of doing now that there's something to show for it not just some scrawny twerp with no muscle mass at all with zero muscle mass at all now I want to dry out and solidify. There's going to be at least... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that little... Look at that little beanie biceps bump, baby. And look at... Oh, look at them nice... Look at them nice outer tricep. I work on my... Tri I, I used to... Uh, <laughs> I used to joke. Some of the guys at work. I was going to go work out. I got to go work on my tricep. It's the triceps. Yeah, I know, but I only work on the one. 
<laughs> the outer head. <laughs> oh. Gotta get that outer head action. Yeah. Yeah. A typical day. So I get up, go grinding for Pidgeys on my way as I walk. It's about a uh, 30 minute walk. Uh, approximately. How far is it? I can crack. It's about 2.8 kilometer kilometers. To the 24 hour fitness from where I am. Up a nice hill. Oh yeah. Past a couple of pokey stops in a little park. I love it. That was where we shot the first episode of Pokey Ponce Adventures. You haven't seen it yet? Of course you haven't. <laughs> but it's out there. Ha 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 ha. Where is it, baby? I don't know where it is, baby. It's my precious Evie. If I said I had a fetish for Evie, would you hold it against me? Mm-hmm. I'm dropping all kinds of Easter eggs on y'all today. All kinds of 10K Pokemon eggs. All kinds. My typical day. So I hit the uh, hit the gym and I walk back down by the anus canals if I'm feeling perky. Crack a couple of 5K eggs in the process. Trolling for Dratini. I haven't caught a Dratini. I, I caught a lot of Dratini down there. I caught about... Uh, actually, I've never hatched a Dratini. I caught 46 Dratini. And or dragon air down by the canals or through the use of incense. And then all of a sudden, they just stop spawning there. Fortunately, I already have my dragon knight. Mad evolved, well done. <laughs> max attack, max HP. CP 3216, level 33, baby. I did have one that was max attack and max defense, but it was only rated as strong. So I traded it for candy, but I'm thinking I'm thinking probably even with even with the lower HP it would have been better to have because mine has fifth attack 15 defense Defense, I want to say, it's either a 10 or an 11. I think it's 11. I think it's 11 out of 15, and then, of course, 15 out of 15 HP. But that defense, it's just... Um, I mean, even though the CP ratings and the uh, appraisal says it's, it's simply amazing, I, th I think the defense part of it is, is just... Uh, It would have been better to have max attack and max defense even with a strong Pokemon and the HP lagging as opposed to the defense lagging and the HP. You know, you got, what, maybe five more HP. I don't know. The point is, even though I go trolling down the, uh, down the canals, I haven't seen a Dratini in a long time. It's just kind of weird. My typical day to get back. Get back. Get back to where I once belong. I like to be done with all that. In an ideal situation. I like to hit my workout. I like to get to the gym at about 1030. I miss the morning rush. I miss the noon rush. Leave at about. 
10 after 12 or 12 15 and get back home by 1 30. so what that does is i i wake up plan out the day or or um uh, as i'm going now to produce content for the website do some social media updates and planning for the day or planning for the days ahead rather it's when I do corporate stuff first thing in the morning let that food settle yeah I'm not waking up at 521 a.m. I, I wake up right now at about uh, 730 right now spend my time because I I go to sleep right right after about an hour after I finish up with these uh, episodes. So it's 10 a.m. Central. Uh, I'm sorry, it's 10 p.m. Central. So that is 10 o'clock p.m. GMT minus six is where I am right now. It's 10 o'clock for me. It's eight o'clock in L.A. It's 11 o'clock in New York City. It is 4 a.m. in London. 6 a.m. in Cape Town, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So right now, it's 11.16 p.m. my time. Been talking for about an hour and 16 minutes now. That means it's an early morning in London, but a late night for me. That's the way it is. And if you also noticed, as I've been talking... Bedroom Boys Best Road Dog Federation Studios here. I don't have to deal with. I just heard the uh, air conditioner come on. Whenever I'm tracking vocals, I, I mostly, I mostly track at night. Mostly. I mostly track at night because from about two thirty a.m. until five thirty a.m. It's completely quiet on the street next to me. And if I turn off the air conditioner, I turn off the refrigerator, I can get quieter than a studio that has a vent somewhere that's that's blowing air inside. With the way that I have it set up and the, the way that I've treated this, the space. I can get some great results, but the caveat is I can only re only record during those times and be 95% assured that the take that I get, there's not going to be a car driving outside. Does that make sense? That's why I joke. It's an, it's a, it's an early morning in London, but a late night for me. Well, it truly is lots of times because that's the only time that if, I, if I'm in tracking mode, that's the best time for me to track. So I'm waking up now at about 7.30. Um, I get I like to get four sleep cycles, four solid sleep cycles, and I feel pretty dang good. Only three cycles off and on, especially if I'm not taking Geno Stem Pro. If I, if I run out of Geno Stem Pro, that's the first thing I notice is my quality of sleep. It's just a hit or miss. I may get one out of eight days of quality sleep. That's not a good that's not a good percentage. Geno Stem Pro is more like five out of six days. And the only the only reason the six day isn't good is because I did something to mess it up diet wise. A typical day. Back at about 1.30, if I'm in a cutting phase, I will utilize intermittent fasting and I'll also add a thermogenic. Appetite suppressant. Essentially, it's a mega dose of caffeine, B vitamins, and Yohimbi. Yohimbi curbs my appetite greatly. It also increases anxiety, all that caffeine, and, and it has a tendency to um, put my body under stress and, and 
oh, man, I release too much cortisol. I really have to do everything that I can to try and keep my cortisol levels down because they're naturally high. Naturally. Hmm. Getting high and going deep. Oh, yeah. Health. Chop up some garlic. Some fresh garlic. I never knew the greatness of garlic until I started listening to the Joe Rogan experience. Y'all ever heard that podcast? It's popular. If you haven't seen Joe Rogan's uh, Netflix specials, go check them out. I don't care if you're listening to this 120 years later. They've got it somewhere. His grand finale. The one I'm talking about. Which one is it? Netflix. Triggered. Yeah. Triggered. Amazing entertainer. That was... um, I watch a lot of stuff. I watch a lot. It's, that's part of what I do also. Is that I look first and foremost at writing. I look at writing. Yes, I look at the writing. First and foremost. I always, always, always watch TV and movies with the captions on. I will not watch a show with closed captioning off. It. Thanks, Road Dog, for that. It took me about five minutes to get used to it one time. We, I was watching with, uh, with a friend of mine in a noisy environment, he, and he had closed captions turned on. And after five minutes, I was, I, I, I can't live without it. Can't watch without it. I look for the writing. I watch a lot of things. I watch comedy specials. I did a search for uh, Sturgill Simpson on podcast. Grammy Country Music Album of the Year this year. He was nominated for uh, Album of the Year. Any genre format, right? Didn't win, but he got it for Country. Sincerity in songwriting. There's a market for it. Huge. Huge. Because we're not being... We're, we're not... Our, our cravings... Are not being met with by the diet. Remember this healthy diet? For me, healthy music diet is starts first and foremost. Nutrients, sincerity in its songwriting. Not going to sit here and bellyache about it. You know what I can do? I can make the music I want to hear. I want to write the kind of songs that, that I want to listen to. I can be the change that I need to see. And if I do those two things, then I, I've got a chance to live the life that I dared to dream. My typical day. Living it. I'm just dreaming. Claiming it. Walking it. Running in it. Living it. Like sweet Stephanie. Like Joe Rogan. Like Anderson Cooper. Joe Rogan, uh, 
podcast, and he talks about garlic and the benefits of garlic. It's not just that. I always thought the garlic seasoning, but if you actually take these uh, these raw fresh garlic and you you chop it up, the act of chopping it up releases the active ingredient allicin. And that allicin, and let it sit there. I let it sit there for about seven or eight minutes. Put the timer on. Helps me be a bedroom boy's best. Although it does make my mouth reek because I chew it up too. And oh man, that oh that sting of that garlic. Oh, mm, my mind just percolates up. My stomach, as soon as it gets down in my stomach, my stomach just goes, oh, F yes. Thank you. And the garlic garlic is like special ops down there, just pew, 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 and just taking out all these nasty bacteria and junk. We're going to clean y'all MFers out down here. Settle my stomach. Oh man, get my brain all percolated and makes my makes my mouth dry. My breath stinky. <laughs> Not really stinky. It doesn't bother me, but it's it is very strong, very pungent. It helps me be at my best though. That is a newfound thing. Thank you, Joe Rogan. But if you haven't seen Triggered, It's the comedy special that that I just I love it. I love its energy, love its material, and the grand finale. That's what I was getting to. That the grand finale is is incredibly creative and exceptionally difficult performance art that is worth. It's worthy of your time to watch it if you haven't seen it. Amazing stuff. One of the side effects, pleasant side effects of of making the switch to doing this full time, and that is entertainment, primarily through the art of music, but also just writing, writing and speaking, communicating, using my words. Creating visual art with videos and pictures, photographs, conceptual photos. As we looked at last night, check out Photo Shoot 1, episode, that's uh, season 1, episode 20 of A Bedroom Boy's Best. It's kind of a look behind the scenes of how, how do these things come together? By these things, I mean everything that has to do with producing an album on your own. It's lots of things to think about. It's not just the songwriting or the tracking or the mixing or the mastering or the arrangements. It's the promotion, too. It's the artwork. It's the visual side of it. That's that's where I shine. That that's what I know. This side of it. Talk about it all day, every day. Never gets old. I think that's how you know whenever you're in the right spot doing the right thing. You do it all day and it never gets old. It's the same way with sexy times with me. I do it all day and it never gets old. Mm mm. Mm mm. A typical day. So get back home and I, uh, I, I try to watch as much television and film as I can. See what other people are doing. While I'm out and about going walk about cracking pokey eggs, guess what I'm doing? I'm listening to musics. Or I'm listening to Sports Talk, my favorite radio station in the world. Sports Radio 1310 at 96.7 FM. The ticket. Accumulus Station. 
through the Sports Day DFW app. Sup, George? How you doing, sweet job? It was my typical day. Includes the ticket, and I was uh, I was riding back. I was riding through town with my daughter, go, on, going to see my uh, visit my parents. And they had a segment during the five o'clock hour show called The Hard Line with Eakins Arbach, the old gray wolf, Mike Reiner, old Dan Paul, old Mino. They had a segment that uh, it's called Fun with Country Music. This is a couple years back now. My daughter and I had uh, stopped to get a bite to eat, but the segment came on and um, it was, we were laughing so hard at this segment. Just kind of cheesy. And I I hadn't, I'd, I'd started listening to sports talk and been a big when I say, oh, yeah, what's up, Road Dog P1, production expert and or sweet supernatural freaks? P1, P1 is, is what's referred to as a person who uh, is in the main demographic. Ticket is going for someone who listens all the time, constantly. A good, good, solid, good, strong, sweet, clean, dirty, mean P1, like me. But at the end of this segment, uh, my daughter and I were just laughing so hard. Uh, fun with country music. That planted the seed. Because I had these songs, and, and I actually had written not too long ago from when this segment took place, I'd written everything wrong. So I, I'd I kind of started, didn't start getting back into it, but it was, it was fresh enough that I knew the, uh, the songwriting was still there. It hadn't gone anywhere. It just been dormant. It started waking up. This was another step in the process of waking up that, that songwriting side and, and sending me down this path that has led me here was that segment of my typical day listening to a sports talk radio station. The guys love country music. And just wonder where commercial, current cur- commercial music had, has gone. Where, where did, did we, as in me, when, when did I stop being the target audience? For country music. Not just me. There's a there's so many of us. At least where I am today. Sports music in Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And from what I understand. With the success that we've seen from Chris Stapleton. And Sturgill Simpson among others. There's a huge market. That's not being fed. Nutritional. Music values. If there ever was a time for me, the time is now. That's what I'm getting at. Daily, my typical day. That's why I'm here. I want to bring you a bedroom boy's best. I want to to make the music that I want to hear, quite literally. I want to be that change I need to see. I want to live the life I dare to dream. And hopefully you'll be entertained, inspired, and encouraged. Entertained in the sense that you dig what I'm doing. Inspired in the sense that you see me doing it. And now there's, it, it's not a fantasy. It, it actually can happen. Look at this guy. If this guy can do it, this little boldy goldie over here. 
and he can do it. He can start whenever he's 37 years old, for crying out loud. Just imagine what you can do. And encouraged. Encourage you to do it. And I, I'm here to encourage other songwriters. If you've only written one song, if you've written a billion songs, and you're and but you you've never made a demo before. You don't know how to start. You don't know where to go. Hey, that's why I'm here. Here's the steps that I took. I I didn't know anything either. But then I went and go Googled it. <laughs> go Google, like me. Next thing I know, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee at the 515 studio cutting an album. Some of the best musicians in the world. It's doable. It's not some fantasy. It's not some dream. It's right here. Go out and claim it like me. One step at a time. I can't see one day in front of me. And you know what? It's not because I can't. It's because I choose not to. Because I'm more concerned about the next step that I'm taking being on solid ground. It's one step at a time. If I, if I start looking up and looking around at everything else, it's going to be distractions. Being able to remain focused... And relentlessly determined to achieve this worthy goal. Bring you a bedroom boy's best. So I can share an intimate emotional connection with you through the magic of music. That I may make the music I want to hear. Be the change I need to see and live the life I dare to dream. And, ins and entertain, inspire, and encourage you to do so at the same time. Like me. That is a worthy goal. I've thought about this a long time. See all, all those things work together. And I can say it without hesitation because it's the truth. Brings us back around to the very beginning. Remember what sweet Stephanie said? The biggest mistake celebrities make it or people in the public eye, they lie. I don't have anything. <laughs> I'm emotionally naked here. It took me a long time to come to terms with that. Or what that actually means. Here I am. I've accepted it. And now I've accepted it. I embraced it. Now I'm demonstrating it. And it feels amazing. The way I knew it would. My typical day. You know what my definition of a great day is? great day is a day that starts and ends with you. It's time for today to end. It's all the time I got for now. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am Roy Golden, Dorado myself. Hopefully you've been entertained, inspired, and encouraged to make the music you want to hear. Be the change you need to see and live the life you dare to dream. Why make believe when you can make be live? Like me. Later, Road Dog. <laughs>